What's up? It's Kev, the audio guy, coming to you with an episode of Back to Basics, where in plain English, we focus on a basic audio or music technology topic. Today's episode answers a very popular question. What is MIDI? MIDI is the computer-based language of electronic music. Okay, what does that mean? All right, to really understand what MIDI is, it helps to know how MIDI came to be which has to do with the evolution of synthesizer technology. In the early days of electronic music, keyboard synthesizers were big and they were expensive. These synths required patching cables to interconnect the various modules. Plus, you had to have a strong knowledge of synthesis just to create a sound. And after all that, there were monophonic synths, which meant they could only play one note at a time. By the late 1970s, the majority of synths had evolved away from using patch cables, but They were covered with knobs and sliders, and to create a sound, you still had to understand how to program a synth. Now, if you had that skill set and you created a sound that you liked, there was no way to store or save that sound. So the position of every knob and every slider had to be meticulously written down by hand on a piece of paper called a patch sheet. By the early 1980s, Synthesizers had progressed to the point of having 32 to 64 pre-programmed sounds stored as presets. Now these presets could be recalled with a single button press. This was a big step forward because finally you could unbox a synth, turn it on, and immediately make music. The newer technology also broke the one note at a time barrier and allowed you to play 8 to 12 notes at once. So two-handed playing was finally possible. These were significant improvements, but in a quest for bigger sounds, musicians began to layer sounds together. Now, to layer sounds in that era meant having multiple synthesizers on a big keyboard stand, which each synthesizer set to a different sound. Then, you played one keyboard with your right hand, while the left hand played the same part on another keyboard. So once again, two-handed playing wasn't possible, at least not if you wanted a layered sound. The solution became to create an electronic language where you could connect multiple keyboards together, yet control and access them from one central keyboard that could be played two-handed. The language would have to be universal. That way, every keyboard in any keyboard, regardless of manufacturer, could be connected together and work. So in 1983, the electronic language of music was born and called MIDI. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. MIDI became the standard and every professional keyboard made had MIDI connectors on its rear panel. Here's how it worked. Whenever the controlling keyboard was played, an instant stream of high-speed information was transmitted out of its MIDI out connector. That instantaneous data stream contained information about which preset had been selected, which notes had been played, how hard the notes were struck, how long the notes were held, when the sustain pedal was used, basically any information pertaining to that performance. So, with the MIDI out connection of the controller keyboard connected to the MIDI in connection of a receiving synthesizer, that receiving synth would follow whatever the performer played. And, if you were connected to multiple synths, you could build complex, lush layers of sound. This was a massive step forward. And, since MIDI was a digital language, The natural progression was to insert a computer between the controlling keyboard and the connected keyboards. This way, applications could be created that turned a computer into a MIDI data recorder. With this software, a single musician could create compositions by recording multiple keyboard parts into a computer. The songwriting application would then allow you to edit, assign, and play back those parts across multiple or even hundreds of connected synthesizers, with each synth playing a different sound. And the computer-based studio was born, all because of MIDI. Over time, the MIDI protocol was expanded, so every knob, slider, or control on any device could now communicate with a computer and be controlled by a computer. With this technology in full swing, the MIDI connection was no longer limited to synthesizers, It was being implemented on audio processing gear, like reverb and echo units. Even audio mixers could be controlled via MIDI. Today, an entire recording studio of gear can be controlled by MIDI. The MIDI protocol is used in home studios, 
concert stages, theaters, motion picture studios, and streaming broadcast facilities. And over 90% of music played on modern pop radio are MIDI-based compositions created with a computer. Many of those computers are located in home studios. And that is MIDI. I'm Kev, the audio guy, and this is Back to Basics. Thanks for stopping in, and please subscribe.